Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. All right, we are here, Craigslist, in the Fort Lauderdale uh, area, 70 mile radius, and we're looking for cars and trucks between the price of $300 and $1,500. Now, guys, one of the things I want to address right off the bat is that we're trying to uh, look at cars that are being sold, not by dealers, unless those dealers are selling them for between $300 and $1,500. But what the, what the, the dealers are doing is that they're throwing their down payment in as the cost. So we're getting a lot of those in our search criteria. Okay, so what I've done is I've uh, I use a technique to re to remove any ad that has you know down or down payment or finance or payments or anything of the sort uh, from coming up in our search. But what the dealers are doing, they've gotten savvy to this, and what they're doing is they're not putting any of these words in their ads. Okay, so look at this one here for a second: two thousand eight Honda CRV uh, for fifteen hundred. Let's look at this. It has no reference whatsoever. See, it says. Cars and trucks are for sale by owner. Okay, that's what it says right there, by owner. This is not an owner, right? For $1,500, give me a break, okay? Um, unless, you know, it's an error. It was supposed to be 15000 or something like that, which I doubt 2008 would never be 1500 In which case, um, this is not the only one I'm seeing, all right? If we scroll down a little bit here, we scroll down, we look at this here, 2018 Nissan Murano for 1000 This is impossible. Again, it's saying for sale by owner, which for a thousand dollars, this is ridiculous. Okay, but here we have it right here. Price is twenty thousand. Okay, so you know this is the type of stuff here that gr drives me insane. Okay, we're trying to look for 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 cars that are really between three hundred and fifteen hundred, and we're getting this, this crap. Here we go again with two thousand seventeen hundred Accord for a thousand. We have no reference whatsoever to any down payment, but here we have a price of thirteen thousand. This is a crap that we have to deal with uh, when we when we search for cars. But anyway, let's get into it. Um, let's see what we find. Okay, uh, first uh, this this uh, Chevy Silverado for eight hundred dollars. I mean, okay, let's look at the big picture. And as we see, there's only one picture. Um, people, come on, you know we're trying to sell a car here. We're trying to we're trying to sell a truck. Why are we only seeing the, 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 the bed, the tailgate? Come on, we need to see pictures all around inside the engine, you know. Ah, oh boy. Oh. Lowest price Silverado, 1998 Chevrolet Silverado 1500, 5.3 liter V8, 8-foot eight rear wheel work truck with only 56,000. Clean title Silverado, runs and drives the comes loaded with a spacious 8-foot bed, light new titles, ice cold AC, uh, trailer hitch bed line, traction control, and much more. Great overall trucks at an exceptionally low cost of ownership. Um... Guys, this is one of the things I don't like. The text, and then they have the numbers separated. I don't know. That just tells me that the fact that there's only one picture. Um, you know, it, 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 you know, a traction control on a 1998 Silverado. I don't know about that. But anyway, I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, um, moving on. You know, there are things, guys, you know, when it comes to, to buying a vehicle or, or whatever, you know, in general, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And look at these guys. We, we have here. Here we have again. This is a dealer. OK, but they're putting themselves as by owner. So if you if you try to eliminate, you know, the sale by dealers, this will slip through. And here we have the cash price of thirty nine ninety nine. Um, but what you won't see. Is. Anything. In the, in the text that says it's down payment. But here we have, here up here, where it says 1500 down, you know? So you can't filter this part of the ad out, you know? So this, this just makes it that much more difficult and annoying, okay, to search uh, on Craigslist right now, or anywhere else for that matter, because these dealers are getting savvy. You know, they're getting hip to what we're doing. You know, we're trying to, 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 to cut them out of the, out of the whole the whole thing so they're they're stepping up their game but not to fear i'm gonna find a way i'm going to find a way best believe so that we only see what we want to see okay all right so guys let's see here let's jump right into this here here's a chevy malibu um let's look at a big picture these cars are i mean once again uh, just a symbol of chevrolet and general motors mediocrity here this was their entry into the uh, mid-size sedan market owned by the Camry 
uh, co-owned by the Accord, you know, Altima, all these top players, and this is what they gave us, all right? I'm selling my Chevy Malibu, starts right up and runs and drives real good. This is a very reliable car that will take you anywhere. AC Cole, let me know if you were interested, 1499 Uh How about no, all right? Um, this is a too, too high a price, really. Not too, 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 too high, but um, you can get a lot, you know, much, much better um, vehicles out there for that price, all right? Um, let's scroll down a little bit here, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay, here we go. Nissan Infiniti i35. I've always liked these vehicles. I came close to buying one one time. All right, let's look at the big picture. All right, let's see. Um, it's black. It's a, um, always a good color for me. Um, at least it looks black. Could be dark gray. Um, all right, so far it looks honest. Looks honest. I like these cars. You know, they're based on the Maxima. Um, which was a real Nissan back in the day. Um, um, I, again, I was saying uh, I was I came close to buying one once. It had a uh, the, the seller said it it uh, the ECU uh, got wet and um, he had the replacement one in it, you know ready to um, to provide a new owner. Blah blah blah. I was literally driving on my way to seeing it and. Um, I just stopped. I just made a U-turn. I'm like, you know what? You're selling for a really good price, you know? But I just decided against it. But anyway, this looks pretty, pretty solid. It's a little rip here in the uh, in the leather, but nothing to really worry about. Let's see what's going on with the description. <clears throat> 2004 Infinity i35, same as Nissan Maxima. It's great. Transmission needs service or replacement. A good wax buff will improve shines on the collar. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, um, for $1,000, um, hmm, okay, all right, um, uh, I'd probably try to get something for like 900 maybe 800 but hey, all right, uh, not bad, all right, 2006 Mitsubishi Galant for 950 now you guys know I like these cars, all right, uh, let's look at the big picture, okay, this is one of the lower end models here because we do have the um hubcaps on this one oops sorry about that guys um right um yeah again these cars you know they're kind of a snooze box what in the name of all things good on hold is a mitsubishi oh boy. anyway not a deal breaker yeah so um they're a bit of a snooze box to be honest with you um this generation was not particularly uh, attractive but you know hey 950 dollars i mean it looks sound you know it looks pretty strange let's see what's going on here family owned and well maintained normal high mileage but excellent tires very safe and ready for long distance driving if needed firm on the price for a solid japanese car uh 950 2006 uh, okay yeah all right fine all right fine <laughs> you know sold <laughs> all right 1997 lincoln count uh town car for 1300 uh boy uh wow let's have a look at the big picture all right these cars were just total boats they're reliable they've got that um they, you know they're based on the crown victoria which you know has had duty as uh you know police car taxi you know real workhorse on the pinnings here very solid they can be really reliable cars the engines you know put nice push rod v8 engine you know it's going to be not pretty good on the on the fuel economy but you know it can be a nice comfortable safe reliable car you know let's see what it says here cash special 997 lincoln town car executive four door sedan 137,946 miles uh the bin make model so on and so forth this is obviously a dealer uh it's being sold by the dealer for uh, 1300 so guess what um i can't fault it hey it's within our criteria i have nothing against dealers i have everything against unscrupulous dealers all right so hmm let's have a look at this here 2011 chevy malibu for 1450 hmm for sale by a dealer before we even look at the big picture let's go down here um okay let's see it might be 1450 let's look at the big picture um are we seeing anything here but see this is the thing guys you know you, you can never tell you know you can never tell i, I love these cars when they came out you know they were they're really nice looking you know they had a, you know they they strummed all the right notes okay we've got some uh, paint fade here on the roof oh, we might even have a dent on the roof here not sure about that but um 
yeah, you know, they look like the future of General Motors. Um, this one seems to have the four cylinder, the 2.4 Ecotec, um, not the 3600, which might be a good thing. The 3600 V6 has uh, shown itself to not having lived up to the promise that the 3800 had, uh, had um, going for it. All right, uh, okay, good condition is tune-up engine, idle engine, power reduce, good tires, good coal AC, clean title, my loss is your gain, four cylinder and great on gas, runs drive, you're local in kennel, you don't charge video fees. Okay, so once again, this is the dealer selling it for forty nine or fifty, but it's not perfect, it's got issues. Okay, so, yeah, um, maybe you could talk something off of it if you're really interested. It looks uh, pretty straight. All right, uh, oh, hello, hello. Okay, let's see if we can get this in here. Mitsubishi Galant ES uh, 2003 for 1500 I had one like this, guys. All right, let's look at the big picture. All right, so I had one like this. Mine was a 2-liter four-cylinder, which, you know, obviously wasn't a U.S. model. Um, but, yeah, these uh, cars were pretty, pretty solid um, if, if they were well-maintained. Mine was a, I mean, it was a paragon of virtue. You know, this is a nice, decent car. You know, nothing fancy. Um, I'm not seeing uh, what kind of engine it is. Um, I'm seeing hubcaps here, so that tells me that it's a lower spec model. Um, uh, let me see here if I can see. Oh, wait a minute, it's a V6. There we go, my bad. I, did, I didn't see this badge, I, saw, I actually uh, went looking for. So yeah, it is a V6, and uh, let's see what the, um, what the uh, description says. Mitsubishi Galant ESV6 year 2003, automatic sunroof, cool, uh, cool AC, beige interior, selling as a working condition, but needs TLC. Uh, please uh, contact if you are a serious buyer. 1500 um, I'd probably offer slightly less, but um, yeah, I love these cars. Uh, all right, so let's, oh, 2002 Ford Mustang. Let's, let's get this one in. Let's see what's going on here. Is it true? All right, let's look at the big picture. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, what's this here? Are we seeing any, any kind of? Oh yeah, we got some paint fade going on there. Uh, some stuff going on here, guys. Um, headlights look like they've been replaced by some Chinese job. Uh, okay, all right, fair enough. Um, let's see, fifteen hundred, uh, two thousand two Ford Mustang, good AC, good, and running good tires. Hey. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, you could, you could, you know, see what's going on, you know, offer the list and that, and, uh, yeah, not bad. All right, so, guys, guys, uh, uh, Honda 84, Honda uh, Accord hatchback for a thousand. I, I've got to get this one in, guys. I'm sorry, I have to. I love these 80s. Uh, Japanese cars. Let's look at the big picture. This is going to be simplicity. Look at these rims. These are the steel wheels, boy. I love this car. Okay, interior looks a little, a little worn, but hey, you know, a thousand dollars. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give them a thousand. Says your Honda eighty four Accord LX hatchback not running, easily fixed by a mechanic. I'd offer less, maybe five hundred. I mean, these aren't collectors items by any means, but I do love these these Honda Accords. Excellent stuff. But hey, guys, listen, I'm going to stop right here. Uh, thanks for joining me. And, uh, you know, if you like what's going on, like, share, subscribe. And, hey, I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.